Yes, welcome to Target Lock TV. Uh, my name is Simon, and uh, this is the top four um, in the cut for the Swedish Open Online X Wing Tournament. And with me right now here, we got Flipster, who is helping me TOing this event. And eventually, we will have Oliver on as well. He's running a little bit late, but he will be here. Yeah. Welcome. I mean, you got the world champion lined up for commentating, but instead you got the tech guy from Norway. I know it's it's a disappointment, but for now, I'll I'll help you out. We are so happy to have you here. Anyway, let's see. We have uh, double Swedish players in the top four. We actually got three out of four players in the top four from Sweden. So do you think the the first prize will stay in Sweden? There's a good chance. <laughs> I mean, uh, all of these competitors have done well. Of course, yeah. they've, they're in the sim uh, semis. Uh, but the Croatian uh, outsider, he's uh, certainly uh, looking, uh, has his eyes on the prize as well. So uh, it can be either of them. But yeah, you have yeah. a out of four chance, so it's a good, uh, <laughs> good chance. Yes. Let's see. Do you want to help me break down this list for me? Uh, shall we start with Andreas? That's pretty straightforward. Yes, Andreas. He is running. Uh, it, yeah, it's six of them. Six parents <laughs> of the empire, with uh, ruthless and four of them with proton rockets and two of them with thread tracers so he's planning on um, getting all those locks getting double modded rockets into his uh, opponents yes we have seen a lot of v1's uh, lists in the tournament but this is the only one who's uh, spamming ruthless in there as well and he has uh, pimped up his uh, dials with uh, some uh, uh, some extra colors and everything looks oh. very good on the other hand we have uh, Johan on the other side of the table let's see I'm just gonna move the camera you have already you have a game of him already has yes has, haven't you yep he's running um, um, Sam Vessel with uh, Treacherous Count Dooku Thermal Detonators, Slave 1, and Boba Fett Gunner. Um, which we have seen to great effect. And then Berver, correct, <laughs> uh, in the uh, Nantex with Treacherous and uh, Gravitic Deflection. Not being able to uh, get uh, Ensnare here in hyperspace. And then finally, General Grievous. Treacherous, Impervium Plating, and Solus 1. And um, if I don't remember, uh, if I remember correctly, he just straight up joust things with uh, Grievous and survives. Isn't that <laughs> the tactic here? <laughs> That's the way he does it. Let's see. So Andreas is starting off slow, turning towards the board edge. Yeah. Hoping to catch Grievous, maybe. Yeah, he's he's daring him. Grievous says, no thanks. Not today. Not today. Yeah, he's a very slippery, uh, slippery guy. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about Max, uh, uh, with uh, Max about Grievous yesterday, and he said uh, that he was that, that was his uh, main design was just to be slippery. <laughs> yeah, that's what he does in the films. Getting away. Thematic fluff. So, who's your money on in this matchup, uh, Simon? I'm trying to be impartial, but. Uh... And since they're both Swedish, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't ask who you were rooting for. I, uh, I mean, 
Yeah, that's true. Who do you true. think has? I think uh, Andreas got the the over the upper hand here, sir. Yeah. And you? I think it will be hard to dodge all these uh, six arcs for for these three ships, and um, especially in the Nantex, he's he's. I mean, he's fast, but he doesn't want to take that uh, uh, tractor beam unnecessarily. Well. Mm -hmm. Do you know if he has gotten any use out of gravitic deflection this game? There hasn't been any other Nantex, has it? No, I think this is a single one. We don't really see Nantexes that, that much anymore, which I'm quite glad to see. I think they're <laughs> they're kind of fun. It was obviously, you know, it was horrible when they were totally miscosted. Uh, but uh, I mean, it's an interesting ship. Yeah. And uh, as long as you can't just not I mean, they were just too simple and too effective with the the prior cost. But I think a ship like Sunfac with Ensnare, it's um, horrible. But if costed correctly, it's uh, it's also. I mean, he dies if you catch it. Yeah, that's true. But so does Center Fell and a lot of other horrible ships. <laughs> I mean, double reposition I six uh, is bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't think he's m more bad than anyone else. No. So, Andreas is doing a little bit of formation flying here, barrel rolling yep. and getting focusing with the other group. Mm -hmm. Lining up two lanes here, side by side. Looks good. Or giving himself a little bit of room. Sam so probably boosts her to get the, the possibility to go fast next round. Don't you think? Yeah, that sounds like a nice decision. I, I guess the, the Barons can go hard down and, and just meet. I don't know what you want to do. They might turn away and not go into the into the asteroids and, yeah, they... and try to catch Sam. I mean, they could do a hard one and then just go around trying to catch Sam, yeah. Yep. Hmm. <clears throat> Don't really did you get a good night's sleep tonight, Simon? Yes, I did. <laughs> I uh, I uh, stayed up quite late, but um, it was a good night's sleep, and I got a little bit of a sleep in this morning, so I am very happy. Ah, uh, great. <laughs> and you? You know, during the first round today, I managed to fix a bug in TTS, mm -hmm. which is always good. <laughs> I mean, uh, multitasking, both judging and fixing things at the same time. Yeah, I can't stretch enough how <laughs> valuable you have been for, for this tournament. Uh, there is a special place for people like you. <laughs> yeah, it's A hell. special good place, I should say. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what are they doing? He's dancing a little bit. He is dancing. Okay. I think they figured it out. Yeah. So I see Andreas is not using the 
new proxy mode for Barrow. He's not. And he's not. No, and BC is not using the new. Is he? Or maybe he is. Yeah, he is. In the next update, I will make the proxy mode uh, the default thing mm -hmm. so people can. There's a lot of people that don't know all the new stuff, which is. I, I don't blame them. They load up and use it like they used to. But when uh, when we'll change the default uh, mode, then uh, people will notice, I think. Yeah. Do you, do you think they'd be happy? <laughs> I mean, people fear change. They do. That's why we that, uh, that's why we made it optional. Yeah. It's like a soft release, making yeah. it first an option and then then making it changing the default and then maybe we'll remove the old later. There's no reason to do that now though, but for some other things. All right, let's see. Sam is coming in slow here. Yeah. <clears throat> well, not that slow. But uh, the Baron's turned in to Sam. And uh, it kind of looks a little bit bad for Sam here. Yeah, she's got... She, she doesn't really have anywhere to go. Um, she will be caught in this. Yes. And I of guess... Of course, Grievous will get his... Uh... His, uh, he does not outmaneuver, but uh, his uh, flank. I think Bissa needs uh, needs to uh, get stuff off the board. Maybe be a little bit lucky because I think this looks uh, dangerous for Sam. <laughs> <clears throat> they are all stressed so they can maximum go three forward and clearing their stress so yeah. sam will probably get their her her action at least yeah that's but it's still six shots. They can go three forward and boost if they want to do that and still get a focus. I think I'll have an even better night's sleep tonight, though. <laughs> After yeah. everything is done. Have you seen the close-up of these ships that Andreas Carlson has? Andreas is a is a magnificent painter. Uh, I've uh, I've won some of uh, a ship that he has painted. It's uh, it's absolutely glorious. And of course, when he's playing uh, online on TTS, he has also pimped up his ships with a cool. <laughs> black uh, black uh, look with colored uh, stripes on the sides I love seeing uh, when people uh, customize their stuff yeah. and, uh, mm. and both of these guys have uh, have uh, flaming hot uh, textures very cool to see zooming in here And I know uh, both players have been uh, painting them, especially for this tournament, because they have been sending me pictures. Leading yeah, up I to it. <laughs> I, think, I think the reason you see this um, good representation of Swedes is because I think you really managed to um, summon the whole community in Sweden for this event. <laughs> and uh, there's been practicing for hyperspace for a 
more than a month now, I think. Yeah, since the new year, I'd say. Uh, so. Yeah, so I think, I mean, maybe Sweden is the hyperspace uh, uh, nation. Uh, you know, the, the place to go to, <laughs> to get some hyperspace advice is, is Sweden. But then again, we had the, the Sigma qualify, qualify, qualifier yesterday at the GSP event. And, um, Absolutely. <clears throat> we didn't have any sweets there. Uh, not in the top, at least, but we had uh, Toppy from Norway. Yes, that's very cool. We should I'll also mention... Root. Oh, sorry. I will root for him uh, later today when he's, uh, he's up. Yeah, I will too. And we should also mention that we had Andreas Tolman um, doing six games of Swiss in the Swedish Open yesterday and Swiss, uh, six games in the GSP event after the first tournament and landed on a 12th position, making the cut. So uh, that's just, uh, <laughs> that's, yeah. uh, that's awesome. Dedication. Absolutely. He he's in the in the Norwegian Discord uh, X-wing Discord as well. He's uh, he's all over uh, on online uh, X-wing gaming. That's very cool. So let's see. Uh, we what we're seeing now is Andreas spreading out his arcs just to make sure that he can catch as many things as possible. Yeah, I think he's. It looks like he's uh, anticipating Sam going fast and trying to boost around. Yeah, he's denying that with uh, with the red and 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 keeping the arcs uh, in that direction. And it, even if Sam goes hard into the board with a boost, uh, he's he will probably maybe dodge the yellow arc, uh, but not the others. We'll see. Maybe even the purple and blue. But he's really, really uh, going all in for uh, betting that Sam is going fast and uh, trying to dodge things. I like that. I like when people are 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 betting on something and not doing the average <laughs> <laughs> average thing. Berverket is uh, tractoring himself closer, getting a, a side shot here. Yeah. Uh, he, he has a little bit of a weird position here for the next turn because he can't turn on... Well, of course he can't because he can tractor himself off that rock. He will probably take to... damage, but still. He did the turn. So it looks uh, right now he's in... Oh, I think arcs. he's still in the arc, even if he... No, he's, he's not. Yeah. Two or three arcs there, but he won't get a shot. He won't get a shot, but there's only three shots coming in. So, yeah, it was a gamble from Andreas. Didn't pay off this time. But let's see. Oh, right. I should put. On... Burkett gets a crit in the night. Yeah. Focus for hit crit and Andreas rolls quite bad, takes a shield on the blue. This is an obstructed shot, is it? Yes. You can tell by the color of the, the line. So this is one hit. Rerolling those two into three hits. Ugh. Oh, should have saved the focus. But Ouch. as Fun Mox said yesterday, never save your focuses because the dice will uh, punish you for it and then you'll die even faster. A hit crit from yeah. the green, was it? So that's two oh, rolls well. Sam condition card triggers, gaining a, a, a charge and a 
grabbing it. Target lock. He'll be fully charged after this round. There's a just barely a range three. In the bullseye, he's firing off his thread tracers here. Mm -hmm. Spinning a focus for two, and it goes through. So a gazillion locks is coming up. It's only six, but a gazillion is more fun to say. <laughs> well, look who's entered the building. Uh, it's some English scrub. <laughs> I'm late. Uh, don't worry about that. You're well. Uh, welcome, Oliver. Hello. Well, it I should have been there from the start, but it's fine. Ah, it's don't fine. worry. Is your car uh, nice and clean now? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, we, uh, the silly, the silly thing is I got my time change wrong. Oh, oh really? Don't worry about yeah. it. Ah, it's all good. I need to, uh, I'm, I'm watching the stream on stream, but I'll get TTS up so I can see the actual, actual run. Yeah, um, cool. So this is a shot from white. Reroll. Only one. Only one. Spending that focus. And it goes in. Yeah, first damage on uh, Sam. I thought he would be punished more, but uh, looks like Sam is getting out of here fairly safe. Yeah. yeah this looks like a, a really bad situation for Sam. Uh, and all the separatists, actually, apart from Grievous, both the. Uh, Brewer and Sam West are in a terrible position. I think I think Brewer will just hit that rock and and tractor off next round. <laughs> yeah, but the problem is with his firing arc the way it is, he he won't be able to shoot. And that's true. Maybe he turned the other way around. Then. Let's see. I think we have a little bit of a sound issue. Could Oliver? Could you speak a little bit closer to the microphone? Yeah, sure. One second. I can turn up my sound. That's. Uh... Is that a bit better? That's a lot better. There we Thank go, you yeah. very much. Thank you, <laughs> <Any> chat. <problems. laughs> Get the ASMR stream. <laughs> yeah, we, we had Andy in the chat yesterday. <laughs> uh, yeah. Go clean out some dice. So let's do this. Welcome, Oliver. Thank you. Sorry for being late. Uh, don't Everything worry. Else. <laughs> you know, the <laughs> Swedish efficiency here, we, we start. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, if if I ever turn up on time, some someone will think that there is something wrong with me. So, uh... <laughs> yeah, you shouldn't uh, make people worried. In the... nah, it's all good. It's all good. Right. Uh, no. Let us just... But you're, hmm? you're, you're British. I mean, you're... Uh, used to being the center of the universe. Oh uh, yeah, this you? is true. This is true. Oh, it's we can't really fault you for that. <laughs> <laughs> so now we see uh, the first thermal detonator. I was wondering if uh, if he would drop it this turn. I think it's a good idea to drop at least one. It just stops the inquisitors from chasing quite so hard. Yes. So Andreas is going straight with the yellow uh, Baron, and Pink is also going straight. I think he is uh, anticipated that, and it's just yeah. I think the Inquisitors are in a good position. There is no sense of messing up their formation. No. So, yeah, I think this is. Uh, I think this is fine. <laughs> This is fine, as everything's on fire. <laughs> I 
yeah, I think uh, I think a relatively good position here for for both players. I think as long as uh, Johan doesn't go too aggressive here, uh, there is definitely a risk of General Grievous just getting beaten up by a lot of Inquisitors next yeah. turn. Because I don't see a very good way for the Nantex and for the Fire Spray to get back involved this turn. Unless Johan has... Uh, <laughs> Never expected. I mean, maybe, the unexpected. maybe he's decided to go crazy and do it, do a one hard, and it's actually the big brain move. But yeah. uh, I can't see it. <laughs> nah, we'll see. We'll see. I um, I'm most excited to see where this Nantex goes because my feeling is a three hard to the right. Yeah. But mm, you never know. Yes, you never, you never know. Let's see. I mean, Johan has been practicing a lot with this list uh, running uh, in in the months coming up to this tournament. Yeah, but, it's, uh, uh, it's it's interesting to see because Liam Baker mm -hmm. uh, from up north in the UK has been flying a very similar version of this with mm -hmm. uh, Chertek instead of Brewer, yep. but you. Because Chertek is more expensive, you cannot fit um, the Treacherous on. Oh, yeah. But let's see. Well, Grievous, Grievous has put himself in trouble. He's not, <laughs> in, he's not in any bullseyes yet, but uh, we'll see. The, the Proton Rockets are going to do some, some serious damage here. Ooh, okay. Okay. That's true. Is getting stuck in. Yeah. Although, yeah, I, I think that looks pretty good. He can do a. Will he be blocked next turn? I think he'll he'll got a good trajectory to follow the, the uh, pink and yellow. My concern is that uh, green and white are going to be in a very good position to get price and rockets off, next turn. Yeah, I think uh, I think that could be a problem. But you know, Grievous is probably going to slip away. Well, there we go. There's the uh, there's the Nantex. Nantex gets out of there, repositions, gets the art back into the right place. I think you uh, you better roll backwards here. Yeah. I think so. I think you. The red is never shooting you, so. Yeah, I agree. With, I agree with the chat here. I think yellow, yellow and pink, yellow and pink really could have done something else. They either could have stalled or they just. Okay, they've got the uh, they've got the talent rolls for next turn. I just I feel like they're out of the fight a bit more. Before you came in, the uh, Sam had a trajectory towards the uh, the corner, the area where mm -hmm. they are now. And Andreas yeah. uh, bet very hard on on Sam doing a, a fast move and and trying to dodge arc by boosting around mm -hmm. and past them. Um, so instead of getting getting that right. He turned in and, and managed to torch quite a few of of the arcs. So, yeah. Ooh, I mean, there goes there goes Duku. Duku says thermals are always a hit. Yes. Such a dirty ability. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I so think that's... as as you're saying, I think it's you have to play the arc dodging game with this, like both foresight inquisitors or the barons here. You you have to avoid those bullseyes. Yeah. So this is a range two shot through the gas cloud on white from Sam. Yeah, I feel like this is just this is just throwing dice and seeing seeing what happens really. Yep, yeah, that's an average roll. I, I feel it's not spending his 
yeah if, even if this was three the only purpose of this shot was to maybe spend some modifications for the shot onto grievous yeah and uh gas cloud says thank you very much <laughs> Same thing. Just please spend spend the focus. Just even worse. Just two and against the five. <laughs> yep. Does does this does he even have a focus? Oh no, he tunnel mod. There we go. Shows I have no idea what I'm talking about. Scrub indeed. <laughs> you shouldn't be that hard on yourself. <laughs> ah, it's fine. It's fine. Right now, this this is where we get some fun. This is where we get some fun. I feel like if Grievous starts rolling some fire, then. Here we go. Oh, well. Spend that Ending focus. <laughs> Blue is already damaged, has yeah. no shields yeah. left, and well, we is are... dead. Guaranteed one and splat. <clears throat> that is a sad, sad Baron. And also one of the ones with, pro with proton rockets. I think if you're choosing target priority in this list, you want to kill the proton rockets as quickly as possible. Yeah. Red and yellow are almost ignorable here. Oh, this will be a shot range three into Sam through the gas cloud. Nothing is really going to happen here. <laughs> no. Uh, she's got a focus. I, I think it's it's unlikely. <laughs> Double crits though, and yeah. one converted. If they die to two of eights. And I think at this point you really have to start thinking about the the points values of the individual ships. But mm -hmm. let us we can talk about this after, because this is an important shot. If Grievous takes some damage here and doesn't make it out the corner, ooh, okay. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong thing. There we go. Right, let's let's see what we get. Ooh. So let's uh, hit the right. crits. Hit the crits. And Grievous says, "I have rerolls. I don't care." <laughs> and uh, oh, just take a shield. But I think if he lost both of his shields there, then he'd be a much better position. Because yeah. I'm just thinking thinking about points here. We have one Inquisitor down, 34 points. Mm -hmm. Sorry, one one Baron down. And realistically, very little damage on... Uh, is it Sam? Uh, yeah. Yes. Just a single point. Yeah, yeah. There's very little damage there. And if, if we have such little damage, then even if Grievous dies, he is 56. If you kill one more Baron, then you're still winning. So I think the... The win condition here for uh, for Andreas really has to start to be stop taking damage. He he needs to stop the flow. He needs to shut down Grievous, do as much damage as possible while the other two ships are, are far away. And really, he's running out of time because Zam is doing a hard one here, he's mm -hmm. just turning turning in and getting involved again. And uh, she has all of her charges active, so she's going to start shooting twice. Yep, I think one uh, here has uh, has gotten a very good start with removing a, a, a sixth of the the firepower already, without mm -hmm. really taking any anything. Just there's a lot of locks on Sam, and if Andreas managed to get uh, b uh, a lot of arcs, uh, mm -hmm. then maybe you can manage to get uh, some meaningful damage. But he really, as you say, needs to. Um, work quickly. Yeah, he does. I can I can see sort of a, a big brain play coming in here. If uh, if Zam is is going to do the hard one to the left, then you can really take advantage of this with red and uh, and green and white, and you can maybe get two proton rocket shots in on Zam because you know where she's going to be. You can stop her from boosting away with red and. Two forward and a boost, and mm -hmm. a maybe a. I think probably even a two forwards and a barrel roll left with green would, would both get the bullseyes in on where Zam is going to be if she does do that one hard. I think, yeah, we will we will see what happens. But I know that Andreas is one of those players that 
he will not stop fighting until he is completely dead. So he might be slightly down here, but we cannot count him out. Absolutely not. And uh, it looked very dangerous for Sam uh, coming in head on towards the swarm, but managing to to get out and uh, and still being taking a ship out is uh, mm. was crucial. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think the more proton rockets you kill before they fire, the much higher chance you have of winning this game. Yeah. We'll see how uh, Andreas will handle the the yellow and pink uh, Baron here to get them back into oh. the fight. So this is this... Uh, the second. Hold that on. surprises me. Oh no, no! I think I think he took the bait. I do not think it is the correct decision to go and kill Grievous here. Because yeah, you've you open your flank. It's not realistic to to be able to fully kill him either. So no, I think because if if Grievous has done a bank in here, then yes, he will crash, and yes, you will probably get a proton rocket. Uh, because with White's coming in, White's in a good position. But then you are you are letting Red get. Quite a lot of damage here because Zam will Zam will come in. She'll do a, a one hard or one bank with the boost and put a lot of firepower. Oh, there we go. He is he's committing. Yeah, take the focus and hope he crashes, and then you will you will get the bullseye. Let's hope for the match that that's what happens. I think so. Oh, is he is he doing the barrel roll? No. Okay. He is he is waiting. I think maybe he is waiting to catch Sam next turn with all of the shots. Ah. Or the maybe two bank he, fits. Maybe Andreas is just much more intelligent than me and realizes that the <laughs> two bank will not crash. <laughs> I don't know. Well, we will see. We will see. Grievous doesn't want to. He knows that it's, there's a proton rocket waiting for him if he does that boost here. Yeah. But there's I... two more arcs if he. It, yeah. All right. Wow. Okay. Maybe uh, he wants to force White's. Because White only has three health. If, if he can force White's to spend the focus on defense. Oh, wow. Okay. Maybe That's he fun. anticipated the block. Yeah, I can <laughs> see that. I think if your if your understanding of uh, losing the game is Zam getting blocked there, then I think that's the correct decision. You're you're not risking as much. I think that's fair. I think we've seen uh, Yuan uh, doing the a little bit less uh, aggressive moves, uh, more. Uh, hmm reserved uh earlier is that yeah, isn't sure. that right uh, simon yeah uh, i think that's right actually uh, i haven't thought about it but uh, he I has can... gone slow uh, where we thought he was gonna go fast and banking out well yeah i can understand it versus this list he has managed to get um Brewer in a very nice position for next turn, a three bank and a, a boost tractor beam, and he will cause a lot of havoc in the in the back end of the Inquisitors. <laughs> I always forget that these things do not have ensnare though when we, <laughs> when we see them being flown. Oh let's see, that's a reroll. It's not it's the most dangerous piece on the board here. Bending. No. Focus for three hits. It really and... does surprise. Andreas blanks oh, out for okay. this. Again, was I that keep... on the white? Uh, yellow. That was that was on yellow. Oh, okay. oh no, it was on pink. Apparently. Okay. He put the damage card on pink. This if it is... was, had it been on white, it would have been dead. Yeah, I think that 
that surprises me. I I would have gone even even though he has no focus on yellow, I think four dice onto white and hopefully stop him from shooting the uh the proton rocket, not even by killing him, just by forcing him to spend the focus. Yeah, yeah that's nothing. No mods. Well, to be fair, he is uh now that yellow is on half points, that is what is half of thirty three. That is uh seventeen. <laughs> So yeah, 51 points. This is almost worth Grievous' oh. points back already. He's using Ruthless here. Going aggressive. I can I can understand why. I think he has to. Mm. I get it. Is that reroll from Grievous? No, he, he rolled outside the, the box. Uh, ah, okay, okay. I was going to say. OK, well, this could now be trouble. Oh, he gets them all. Yep, that's going Five to hurt. Hits. Yep. That and not really a single crit. Hurt. And he's in arc as well, so uh, <laughs> with no focus, no rerolls. And he lives. He does. Oh, no, he doesn't. He has got. There's only oh, no, three he, he, has, he has the soulless one, so. He is uh, still alive, right. yes. Yep. Yep. So he has two health two left. Yep. But not very happy. <laughs> <laughs> we should. I'll, I'll help out cleaning up the, out the box here. Yeah. Thank you. So now we have a question. <laughs> yeah. If you are Andreas, what is the win condition? And if you are Johan, what is the win condition? What What do you guys think? How does well, each player win the game? I don't. Think it's um, if I can start. I don't think Gre uh, chasing Grievous is meaningful. At any, uh, you got your half point on him. He's going to boost out here. You have all the locks on Sam. I think Andreas needs to. Uh, he has the the direction and and everything to to try to do meaningful damage into Sam. That's what I would have done. Try mm. to try to get him off. Yeah, I agree with you, uh, Eric. Um, as long as uh, well. Do you think um, Johan will take the defensive route here and not turn into <laughs> all the uh, barons? I think he'll do a one turn away. Yeah. Trying to get one of them in the rear arc. Mm. Yeah. What does the world champion say? <laughs> What's the correct answer? I feel like... Right now, you cannot catch Grievous. I think everything needs to go and to kill uh, Zam Wessel. I think if you can kill, get the kill on Zam, that's almost 100 points. And Grievous and uh, Brewer will not be able to do enough damage. Uh, the problem is, is that if, uh, if Johan knows this, then I think he will one hard to the right. Mm. Uh, I don't. Maybe the boost will not fit, but I think regardless, a one hard to the right and a focus, and then suddenly, Zam is not dead. She's running away, and you have an angry Grievous and Chertek behind <laughs> most of your list. So Berver, Berver. <laughs> so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think, I think the best thing for the Inquisitors to do is go and chase down Zam. Um, I think they have now missed their chance on Grievous, and I think. Ch chasing him will probably lead to you getting killed in the end. Yeah. He m he could also split up and try to use the the pink and yellow to chase Grievous here because it's quite obvious that Grievous will will split here. Yeah, for sure. And I think there is there is an argument for White doing a hard one to the left and a barrel backwards. Because mm -hmm. I, I think Grievous will do a three forwards here as as it's blue. So if you do the the one hard the barrel roll, then wherever Grievous goes, you will get the shot, and he only has two health. He could do it. 
and Absolutely. spending spending one ship to chase down Grievous is is definitely worth it, especially when it's the one ship that has fired the proton rockets. Okay, here we go. So, turning in on Zap. <clears throat> That's uh, there is there is a risk here because if Zam decides to go fast, then you will not catch him, uh, catch her. But if she decides to turn away, then you will not get a proton rocket at that distance. So, does the barrel roll to try and make sure, just spreading spreading the net wide. Yeah, gathering the forces. Mm -hmm. And I can I can see a boost straightforward coming from this one. Oh no, he is, he is deciding. I th I think this is this is where we get the poker poker aspect of the game. Andreas is now saying, "Okay, Johan, you have flown in a certain way for the whole game. I think you're going to continue to fly in this way." And he is <laughs> expecting the three bank. Yeah. There we go. We have the gas clouds. Keeping you nice and safe from uh, the Nantex, and yeah, if everything is going in on Zam, and uh, yeah, absolutely everything is on Zam. Mm. My worry here is that Broquet is going to get a range one um, unobstructed three bank tractor forwards rotate arc right um, will possibly kill pink and then you are just very clearly winning even if you kill grievous and with 32 minutes to go mm -hmm. i think the correct uh, call here by you on this is to get away with sap make them chase you and then yeah, you have two aces to uh, to poke them in the back yeah exactly I think the one hard here from Zam is is the best move, but as we can see, Andreas is uh, Andreas is not expecting it. He thinks that Johan will try and skirt the edge of the board again. So let's see what happens. Oh, he's called it right. That's oh. a big deal. So does do you boost into the edge of the board? You have to, right? You've got two proton rockets on you. Hmm. Oh no, red red does not have red does not have the rocket. No. So is green in range for a proton rocket? I think green is. Remember, white does not have the rocket. The important thing here as well is that if if pink does die, if Brewer Cat manages to kill pink, then pink is one of the only proton rockets left on the board. Hmm. Yeah, pink has only one left. Yeah, mm. it's a high chance. Exactly. But Andreas has a chance here. He's uh, he's back in the game. If he can do some serious damage here to Zam, of course, Zam has a double tap. She might do some serious damage back. So you're saying Indeed. the one bank boost is the right call here to to dodge the. <laughs> No, I think I think either a straightforward boost with Do you even have a shot left then? No, but you nope. would dodge you would dodge the Proton rocket. Right. Um so I think I think the decision here is to take a reinforce. I mm. think you take I think you take the reinforce in this position and double tap because Zam Wessel has a target lock on red. So I think with, with the Dooku force and the target lock, there we go. There's yep. the reinforce. Yep. And just reduce reduce firepower. All you need Johan Johan needs to buy himself time. <laughs> um that's all he needs. Oh maybe not. Okay. Tractor straight forwards and bullseye. Or tractor left and bullseye. Or if he tractors forwards, can he? Oh, he might be able to get a shot on. Oh, on he's not... he... he does have an unobstructed shot now, with with the uh, range two unobstructed into pink. 
<gasps> or, oh no, he's going for okay. <laughs> <laughs> Johan chooses violence. <laughs> yeah, making sure. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Hit, hit, hit crit. crit. Oh, oh that taking hurts. one. That but hurts. that's, that's uh, shield. That's unfortunate. And also the focus. Yeah. Re reducing damage onto Zam here. Oh, this could hurt quite a lot. And it is range one. It is. So Zam is going to get two four die shots with a target lock with Dooku. I, I can see, honestly, Red could just die. Yeah, I think I think you'll try that with you have the Dooku yeah. and and you have the target lock. Uh, yeah, I think you you save Dooku as a force point and just you say right if I can get four hits. Yep. If if he gets lucky, he can roll <laughs> <laughs> four hits. Uh, so he can he can now Dooku the evades. He can say get a bite. And it's just it. but it doesn't need it. Doesn't it. even need it. Red oh, is gone. God. Four natural hits into oh. two flanks and an eyeball he can't use. Yeah. And he's still that, got that. he still, he still got has... two shots. Oh, oh wait, another shot. Um... Yeah, he still has the shot into green. And no arcs oh. on these either. Yeah. 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 Feels like uh, close to good game now. <laughs> yep. I feel the only way that uh, that Andreas has back into this is that he. Uh, he starts to put crits into Zam with the proton rockets, because I mean, even even half points on Zam is not oh, it's not winning. <laughs> well, here come the rockets. Yeah, proton. Let's do it. Okay, five five crits out of hand. <laughs> does he has? Does he still have Dooku? I think he does. The force is not Whoa. spent. Well, the force is not strong with the barons. Reroll. Oh, that's better. That's better. Okay, so there's the five. There is a crit in there. Yeah, there's only one crit that could go through at this point because could go there's through. three shields left and the reinforce. Taking the shield. So I think you do coup and evade. Right. If he, yeah, he still has the force, so you do coup the evade. Make sure that you only take three damage. Spend the force. Or just spend the force. It's the same difference, yeah. So yeah, spend the force. Take takes three. three. No criticals. Not even half points. Oh man. <sighs> I just got news that uh, Niklas Good just defeated Matthias in the other game. So there will be a s s all Swedish final as well. I think uh, I think we need to nerf Niklas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, this is uh, the revenge shots. Lay up. Well, two hits with no focus. And of course, it's two shields. <laughs> oh no, it's a critical as well, <gasps> because he'd, or he'd already taken the shield on green. Yeah. So, this will be a direct hit. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> no, no, it isn't. <laughs> no, it isn't. What is it? It is the disable power regulator. Even oh. better. <laughs> Even better. So next turn, he's taking an ion. I mean, I don't want to say this is over, but that is now a hundred points in the bag for. Johan. Uh, for Johan. One thing is the point. There is also what the protons are about almost spent. There's one more, isn't it? It's the pink one. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's really not that much firepower left either. So Exactly. Sam and can think... just reinforce every round and, and take a single point yeah. left from every shot. Or... I mean, the thing to remember, and this, it is important because as much as this is looking very, very bad for Andreas, Zam is worth 100 points, and she only has six hell remaining. Sure. So yep. if if these four Inquisitors can kill her, then he is winning. And Grievous <laughs> is only on one health. Oh, sorry, two health. 
Yes, these barons have a good trajectory to to block Sam and also uh, follow have following up shots. So it's certainly possible to do six damage with uh, uh, with only a force point and and getting blocked yeah. and having three three barons on the tail. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. But River yeah. will probably kill the pink one. It's yep. very likely. I am. I am concerned. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's 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 always worth thinking about though because especially for um, no Zam Zam uh, because of the reinforced CK Zam did not take the crit. Um, sorry, just checking the chat. But I think this is it, this is a good lesson for the stream actually for those those of you who are maybe a bit newer to competitive play and you're watching. Um, Andreas, whilst he will be frustrated here, he will not feel like he has lost because there is still a pathway for him to victory. And Andreas has played this game for long enough that he will know the points and he will know that if he can kill Zam, he is winning the game. So he might uh, he might be feeling beaten up and battered, but it is important to just not throw your toys out of the pram and say, right, I've just lost <laughs> because there is normally a way to victory. <laughs> yeah, and he also has, the, the ships he has on the board have three uh, green dice uh, for defense, and they can always bail him out. Even, I mean, you're always rolling these three dice. It's not like you have a decimator on one health left. Yeah, exactly. They, the dice can bail you out for sure. Like these inquisitors, sorry, these barons can just decide that. Nope, I have rolled a lot of bad greens so far, but now it is not my day to die. <laughs> so uh, the white one is lining up here. Creating some distance, hoping that uh, Sam will bump into green. Mm -hmm. Yep, we have uh, we have a good lineup here, and he has he has cleared the way for the pink one to come through and hit Sam with the proton rocket. I think. And we now we just have to hope that. Uh, although, do we barrel to the right here? I think if you barrel to the oh no, he's he is. He is going. That's that surprises me, because mm -hmm. he seems to have placed green in such a way that <clears throat> he won't have a shot if he bumps. Yeah. Again, maybe Grievous. he's gam gambling on the three forwards. But yeah, there's there's the one bank and no shot. From, I mean, maybe a shot from pink. But I don't think so. Pink is taking two shots now because there we go. It's a range one bullseye. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> there is there is no way that Pink survives here. Yeah. I don't know. I felt like the if if you had uh, boosted forwards there, if you had done the three forwards and then the boost with, with Pink and just got ready to get that Proton Rocket off, then yeah. maybe maybe you could win. This is uh, well played by uh, Johan, I must yeah. say. It's, Absolutely. He's it, dodged the traps uh, several times. And... It's really good to see. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> of course that helps. <laughs> and it does not matter if you have three greens, because... No, no. Oh, boy. Ink is gone. It feels bad for Andreas. <clears throat> It feels bad. Uh, see, I'm I'm having people shouting at me in chat now for uh, <laughs> whether or not the ship should get nerfs. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. That's I mean, the Ty IV one is is probably too good of a chassis, yes, but I think anything with three agility dice and four health right now needs to go up in points. But well, let us see. Sam says, let's have a crit with Dooku. And we'll get two of those. Hey, finally. Andreas's yeah. green dice are, are helping him. Oh yeah, the white is out of arc here. So he will have mm. a proton shot. Well... He's getting everything. I have to say, Johan has flown well and his red dice are helping. 
Oh, there we go. Well, focus bands. Yellow is alive and healthy. Um, okay, range two. What do you think? Double tap on uh, from Zam here or target lock? I think there's a double tap. Yeah. I would agree. <laughs> well, one hit. Target lock. Into the blank. Sad Baron. It <laughs> <laughs> doesn't, <laughs> doesn't care. I mean, it'd be nice if Zam did actually go down below half health and make it look like this was maybe close. <laughs> Yeah, there's only seven, 18 minutes left. Yeah, this is... Uh... I don't think there is any way Andreas could make this. No, happen. no, because now... I mean... You... Yeah, if... I mean, you have to kill Zam, right? That is 100 mm -hmm. points. Yep. It's and the easiest points. And that's doing... still very hard. Yeah, now double tap. And now you cannot even kill Zam because that is half health now? No, it's just yeah. a first uh, shoot. It's not. It's not. So, <clears throat> yeah. This is, uh, oh no. boy. <laughs> oh boy. It's a little bit sad. I think sometimes you just have to say it's not your day. And, uh, he may have got to the top four, but I think Andreas is, uh, the dice gods have deserted him <laughs> and they said, nope, we will not see two sets of Inquisitors in the final. <laughs> <laughs> I feel slightly bad for Johan here because now, uh, you now obviously that Nicholas is in the final, he's fought his way through one set of V1s. <laughs> Well, you've got to fight your way through all of the free ones to, to win. <laughs> yeah, there's like a swarm of them. They're just, it's like, uh, would you rather fight a, a duck sized horse or 50 <laughs> horse sized ducks? <laughs> or, no, sorry, the other way around. Yeah, the duck sized horse or 50 duck sized horses. Horse sized duck. I'll fight. I'll, I'll fight anyone. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, oh. I cannot see much of a path to victory here for Andreas. I think this is the this is Johan's victory lap here. He has got his boot on the neck. <laughs> Disrespect, <laughs> double double thermal drop. <laughs> it's like I don't even I don't even have to shoot you. I'm gonna dooku the crit, and you're gonna die anyway. <laughs> Because green is green's only on one. This is going to kill green. Yeah, green's got uh, two left. Is it in range? No, he's got one left. Yeah, he's got one left. And if if it is in range, because obviously green has the ion, uh, he is going one forward. So I it think looks maybe like just barely in. Maybe Johan forgot. Oh, this could be funny if Zam Wessel goes down to half points because of her own ball. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this is, uh, there is a chance. You're saying there's a chance. <laughs> I'd love to see Sam die here. If if Zam bumps and he rolls he rolls a crit out of hand, say, double damage into, oh, <laughs> yep, she stays still. There we go. There we go. Okay. Do you believe? Do you believe in miracles? <laughs> I don't know why I'm hyping it up. I'm fairly <laughs> sure that the Inquisitors are dead, but <laughs> we, we can see. Maybe this is one of those um, movies about the, you know, the the football team that is horrible yeah. and everything is going wrong. <laughs> you just have to dream, dream yep. the dream. Yep. Exactly. I dreamed a dream of time gone by. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, yeah. And turning the turret here. No. Yep. Oh, no shot from Chertek. Uh, from uh, Brewer, sorry. He's getting ready for next turn. I think... Uh, uh, he... Green is safe. <laughs> Green is safe. And yep. does he Dooku do the blank? No, he does not. Oh, he takes <gasps> a hit. 
half points. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm here, Oli. <laughs> I'm, I'm so excited. So excited. <laughs> I am. I am genuine. If if uh, if Andreas wins this, or oh no, he's he's got a strain. He's he's. Wait, what? Oh, he rolled. Oh, out. he didn't roll it in the dark. No. So you just you give me hope, and then you're snatching it away. <laughs> Yeah, sorry about that. that uh, yeah, I directed it right. to, the, to the dice box. Hey, no worries. It's the the rule is there. You roll it's everything the in the dice box. <laughs> Although the the inquisitors have a chance. You're saying there's a chance in the dice tray, people. In the dice tray, they keep on forgetting. I blame Andreas. Yeah, they're tired now. <laughs> yeah, they are. It's a long day. Oh, I would not spend that force. I would not spend that force. Taking at least two. Yep. Two into white. Don't be the double damage. Oh no. Churchill. Yeah, and there's a grievous shot coming in, range two. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. Right, Grievous. For the storylines to be correct, you have to miss. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, there it is. There's there's This is not canon. <laughs> nope, nope. See the the ter the, the terrorists are winning. <laughs> it's it's like a Finnish uh, you know, one of those Finnish uh, where everything goes wrong and, and then there's no hope in the end either. <laughs> I mean, Start bad and the ends bad, even worse. Yep, yep. Oh, I like I like the Finns. They have they have good alcohol and lots of saunas. Like my my cousins are Finnish, so I. Uh, this is I from have... Jello into Sam, yeah. Oh boy! Come on, that's a crit. You can do it. Hit on the crit. Out. So we have half points. We do. We finally have half points <laughs> on Sam. And Ooh, double damage. Mm -hmm. Double damage. Okay. So there is a chance. So well, if if White had survived, White could have been the hero. Wiped Sam off the board and won. But uh, I mean, it's it's 150 points now in uh, in Johan's favor. Yeah. Even if Zam, Zam dies, <laughs> there is very little chance. Although on the plus side, oh no, we still have two thermal detonators. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> there is there is no hope. Abandon hope. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Well, it is the job of the commentator to always stay positive. I'm running out of ways <laughs> to be excited. <laughs> Although I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of torn because there are literally the two things that I hate the most in X Wing on the table right now, mm -hmm. which is generic three agility for health and an Antex. Um, yeah. <laughs> I I can't really choose between them. <laughs> which uh, which one is is the worst? Yeah, I think uh, I think the flavor of the month at the moment is the we've, I've already managed to get the Nantex nerf apparently. <laughs> so let's. Uh, I'm, I'm going to wave my mag magic wand and see if I can get the the Inquisitor's nerf now. <laughs> I don't think Berverket without ensnare is the most uh, obnoxious thing ever put on the table. No, he's almost wholesome. Right. <laughs> I would go so far to say is I would enjoy playing against him. Yeah. And... Hmm. It's interesting, though. I think uh, with all the new packs coming out, we will see how long the three agility stays king. Yeah. All right, Grievous. Time to die. <laughs> I feel like I'm being mean to Johan here. He's playing this really well. Uh, I'm just trying to like stay excited for the Inquisitors. Um, yeah, I think... 
I think, as you guys said, Johan has has done a really good job of range control. Um, he has made sure that at all points he is not going into those uh, into the jaws of those guns. And yeah, he's just combining firepower, getting good shots on focusless ships, and uh, getting Grievous bumped to death. It's all good. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think uh, I think Andreas did the wrong call in the beginning. I, I said I I liked uh, betting on on uh, on doing something like that and going hard. Uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Betting on on a certain move and and trying to get get that uh, bonus uh, and he missed and uh, that really put put his ships in a weird position and and did. So that uh, you haven't got the heads up, and yeah, continued. I think that's that's the thing, though, isn't it? It's the that's the game with the swarm. You have to you have to make that dive. You have to make that guess. And if you if you get it right, you look like um, an amazing person. You look like you've you've sort of won the game immediately. Mm. And if you get it wrong, well, you hope you get another one. Yeah. And the sign of a good ace player is when you only let your opponent have one of those chances. And that's what Johan has done well here. He is he dodged the, the trap and he has not let Andreas get away with it. Absolutely. Yeah, it's it's good to see. It's uh it is nice to see some good quality X Wing in a final because as much as this may have looked one sided, I think Andreas has had a lot of points to bring this back and uh good flying from both parties. This is uh, two Crit. crits. No. no. Everything's fine. Yep. I'm fine. We're fine here. <laughs> it's just a flesh wound. Mm. Now, uh, one hole on green. Ultimate disrespect is bumped Grievous finishes off green before he has the opportunity to uh, <laughs> to kill him. No, no, only one crit. Come on, green. No! Oh, no! I said it. I didn't believe it. <laughs> I should stop jinxing it. I'm sorry, Andreas. You played this all on me. I think he will. No. I, yeah, it's entirely fair. Entirely fair. Oh, dear. Wait. Oh, there is one Inquisitor, uh, one Baron of the Empire left. Just the one. And with six minutes left, I think we have enough time to kill him as well. Yeah. Yeah, one Baron of the Empire that is stressed and not pointing towards the other ships. You're saying that you don't have faith in the... In the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I think we're... We are in the end game now, as a <laughs> famous Marvel film once said. It's almost like uh, in the series uh, Queen's Gambit, where, where the janitor puts <laughs> down the king. Yeah, you resign now. You resign now. I'm I'm never quite sure. Is... Yeah, I'm I'm never quite sure on that process. I feel there is almost a. So wh when I'm practicing and it gets to this point, I will I will say, okay, let's let's redo, let's have another game. But I think if you're playing in a tournament, there is always a chance, as much as however small that chance is, yeah, because it is because it is dice. Because technically, what could happen is <laughs> if. Andreas plays really, really fast. Then the yellow and Krista could keep on rolling three of aids out of hand. He could do a hit and a direct hit into Sam, and then he could kill Grievous. Like, maybe, maybe it could happen. Uh, I think he might actually need to kill Burroquette and two direct hits to win the game. But yeah, I guess I guess there's like a 
Like, oh, there's theoretical zero. chance of, of that happening. Yeah, zero point zero zero zero. Um, <laughs> if you construct it, if you if you know. Exactly, exactly. And uh, there was always the. Oh dear. Okay, here we go. There was always the point where I think of uh, versus Nathan Idea at Worlds, <laughs> where. I had the 0. 0.000 chance of winning the game in the second to last shot of the final turn, <laughs> and I made it. And then he had the 0. 0.000 chance of putting it back, and he made it. So the game like ended in the right way, but it just seemed crazy. He's fine. He's fine. Yeah. He doesn't take any. Oh no, he does. There are oh, half point, half points again. It's okay, so now he has to kill everything in three minutes. Okay, I think now it's safe to say the game's over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Andreas, you have one job left to do, and that is to fly your Inquisitor off the table before they kill you. <laughs> End on your terms. But can you? Does he? I don't, I mean, he, you can do, I don't think he can. You can do a three forward and a boost, and then next turn you can get it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you have to take a focus to make sure that you survive. There is only the, only the honourable way out. <laughs> oh dear. I think uh, it's been a good game actually. As as much as uh, I'm making fun of it at this point, I think. Oh. Well played, both players. Oh no, he's he's going for the win. There we go. Yeah. Two minutes thirty-three. Play play as fast as possible. Is it more honourable to? To finish your your ship by running over a rock rather than uh, <laughs> exiting, fleeing. I think so. Yeah. I um I was watching uh, one of the Hexard streams and um, Piotr, one of the Polish players, uh, suicided uh, the last health off of uh, his own Django Fett by going onto a debris cloud and dukuing a crit for himself. Oh, that's <laughs> beautiful. It was, there was, it was only Django left versus like Han, Jake. And, uh, I think that the wedge was still on the board as well. So he was just like, Nope, we've lost this game. <laughs> he just Funny. went straight into the debris. Yeah. It was quite poetic. All right. Well, Johan is, uh, doing his best to end it and let's see if he can do it so Sam Wessel range two roll in the thing in the box <laughs> they'll, eventually, they'll eventually work it out it's, it's fine nope one should have dooked the crit He lives. He's okay. Just. Is this where we get the magical five eyeballs? Reroll two. I Ooh. want it. I want it so bad. Come on. Five eyeballs. Do it. Oh, no. He's fine. He's fine. <gasps> Oh no, he's he. What did he do? Did he do go? Did you go an eyeball? Something. I don't know. When you're rolling five dice, it's it's a stretch. He takes he takes the crit though. Yeah. He takes the crit. And what the is time it? is up. Is it a double damage? What's in the box? Literally in the box at this point. Yeah. Oh no! Yeah, he. he it's, it's a free one. Is that a double damage? Go on, flip the card. Flip the card. Oh, damage sensor array. He lives. <laughs> I'm disappointed. Well, disappointed. this is <laughs> this is it. <laughs> Anyhow, so congratulations, Juan, and well played, Andreas. Yeah, well, very well played, Andreas. Especially, yeah, the there were some nasty moments for you in that game. Very well played. And don't <laughs> never give up. <laughs> and thank you very much, both Flipster, Eric, and uh, and Oliver. Thank you for coming on and uh, hey, no problem. Sorry bringing for us. Late. No, don't worry. <laughs> We're so happy that you're here. Well, I, uh, I hope I could bring a little bit of entertainment to 
what was it? it was actually a really good game i'm i'm not that mad about seeing the inquisitors on the board i i like this version i think uh the barons are annoying uh, sorry the inquisitors are annoying but the barons are they feel awesome. like a, a skillful <laughs> list which is all i want to see i want to i want to be able to have lists that actually require skill to play not just sort of move forward slowly and roll dice at your opponent until he loses <laughs> no but we will have uh, inquis inquisitors uh, niklas uh, will play his inquisitors in the <clears throat> in the final and joan will play this yep. sam grievous uh, burger cat crat list mm -hmm. And we will soon have Max on as well. Uh, yes. I was gonna. <clears throat> do you, do you have other uh, things to do today, Oliver, or do you want to hang out? You can do that if you like to. Uh, you I don't would, feel. I would love to, but unfortunately, I I cannot do two games. No, uh, I understand I that. No problem at all. But we will uh, cut out the stream now. We will be back in about. There is an optional uh, break for the players, so hopefully we'll be back quarter two, but stay, uh, stay updated on the stream there. So thank you very much, everyone, and over and out.